Hey guys, I'm Wench Fairy, and welcome back to Mass Effect. We are on Eden Prime. We were supposed to be here to pick up a beacon. As you can see, the place is kind of destroyed. There's been an attack by the Geth, which are an AI species created like 200 years ago. That fire apparently was slow to appear. There was a big bug hand looking spaceship in the sky. Oh no. And this is the dead body of a guy who came with us. Something's moving over behind those crates. Whoa. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Um, who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding. From those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the Um, pits. then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Um, let's ask about the beacon first. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Um, let's ask him about the ship, because he said that came next. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. Well, that matches up. up with what those farmers told us. Later. Hold on. Woke you, you up. Were sleeping? I thought you were working here on the docks. I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my ship. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 wings. Well, your laziness is the only thing that helped you live through this you attack. You survived because you're lazy? Yeah. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Oh, that's not very yeah. nice of me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really want to think about it. Uh, I kind of don't blame you. Tell me about the attack. Tell me about the Geth attack. Yeah. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Um, we've asked about all those things. Let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I don't blame I you. Get away from all this. Yeah, go, dude. What? Is there death here now? There is no up arrow. Up arrow? Okay. The arrow keys are on my thumb, so you'll have to- Oh, did Kaden die? Oh my god, Kaden. Oh god. He's really fucked up there, huh? Ashley, come here. Oh, it's in the fire. I'm going. Oh, level three hazard. Okay, Ash, Caden's down. It's just you and I for now. I'm really sorry, Nihilus. What happened to the crouch button? There we go. Oh, hey, Caden's back up. 
Where? Oh, for Pete's sake, behind me? Oh, order Caden to use Biotic Throw on the Geth Destroyer. Uh, where's Caden? Throw. Awesome. Oh, he's dead. Okay. I was shooting him in the junk for no reason. Oh, oh God. Oh, yeah. Need cover. Right to hold current position? Okay, that's that. Oh, I was gonna shoot that. Hey, Ashley, get out of the... So we both, we've lost both Ashley and Caden once in this altercation here. I don't want to uncrouch. Why would I uncrouch? I can't really see where he's firing from. Over there. Oh no, it's just me. Okay, so I should probably take a Metagel. Till my shields come back up. Sorry about the lack of commentary. This bit has always been very difficult for me. And I'm playing on a higher difficulty level than I normally do. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm playing on normal, where I would normally play on casual. I want that medical kit, but I feel like I'm going to have to backtrack to get it. Okay. I think we're okay for the moment. Yes. Let's take Metagel because it helps everybody. <laughs> We've all got shields now. What what was that? Oh, down that end. Train controls activate. And there's Saren. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Oh, well, there's the beacon. Okay. Um, the game shouldn't be quite as dark anymore, hopefully. There was a problem with some of my graphic settings and I think I fixed them, hopefully. We'll find out when we get back on the Normandy. Take cover. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Where? 
Where? Oh god, okay. Awesome. Uncrouch and go. Oh, Caden's got like fancy shields happening. Please don't let anybody hit me till I do this. Oh, I keep forgetting I have like powers. What are my powers? I have to look down here. Overload. And sabotage. Oh. Oh, we're gonna jam signals too. Ow. Oh, here's one. Oh no, okay. I can't use my abilities there, apparently. Oh, press and hold spacebar to begin. Right click and rotate the camera. Oh no, flashing markers. Click either squad markers. Caden can go there. And Ashley can go there. Why do I want them to take cover? Is there a reason we did that? Like, I kind of would prefer them to just follow me, but I mean, okay. Are they? Okay, good. No. Nope. Crouching is not what I wanted. Maybe the last one's down there. I think the last one's probably down there. And there's no jump. Oh no, it's a, Jesus Christ, it's right there. <laughs> well, then I have time to get this. Great. Take all. We will deal with what it is and how to use it later. Awesome. All charges disarmed. I don't really want to go that way quite yet. Is there any stuff to loot this way? Now that I don't have to worry about the geth blowing this place up while I'm running around. I like Shepard's little jog. Little arms. Caden's all, oh no, and Ashley's all, I can't think about this, we just need to go. <laughs> I don't blame her for that at all, though. Nothing here. Anything here? No. 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 I'm pretty sure I know where we're going. I just want to, um... Make sure we don't miss any loot. There's the green light of the beacon. We got that crate. Okay. Oh, that's what I thought. Take cover, Shepard. Oh, husks. Okay. Stop taking cover. Back up. Are there more coming? Yes. Oh, thank God for biotics, eh? I really thought about playing a biotic. Oh. Was there something on the wall? No, it just... There's lots of things to loot here, if I remember correctly. Oh. 
Yeah, let's take all of that. Don't worry about distribution of loot later. As I was trying to say earlier, I don't know if that actually came out because I was trying to fight and run and rush. Check over here. Well, we've secured the beacon. I mean, all of Eden Prime has been destroyed, pretty much, but there's the beacon. I really hope this was worth it. Make sure there's no more loot. Loot, loot, no loot. Okay. Check your targets. Could be friendlies. We thought this world was safe until the Geth showed up. That sounds like the tagline for a movie. They thought the world was safe. Until the Geth showed up. Oh, there is a crate over there. Okay. Well, all right. This is what we're here for, I guess. Prothean Beacon. All this fuss over that statue thing. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Kaden? Roger Normandy. Standing by. Kaden? Whoa. 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 Oh, God. Okay, it's it's got us now. Things are happening. No, don't touch it. It's too dangerous. And it's broken. And I might be broken too. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. <laughs> Well, if it pisses Saren off, I'm happy. This human must be eliminated. No. Oh, that's my face, Doctor. Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. I'm sitting up. You think I'm waking up? What the F happened? You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Probably like I got run over by a freight train. Yeah. <laughs> like the morning after shore leave. <laughs> How long was I out? About 15 hours. <laughs> Something happened Doubt. down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. Whatever, it dude. Out of the way. Don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would happen. That's definitely true. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. Oh no, I broke it! The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Um... Am I okay? What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Shouldn't that be Abnormal physically too, noise. though? Like. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Yeah, I definitely saw some shit. I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. I have purple eyes. That was not on purpose. 
Captain Anderson. Hi, Captain. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. I cause problems. <laughs> Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Yeah, well, I'm not I'm entirely sure certain. Um, what happened to Ashley? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Awesome. I'm, I'm down for that. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our... I do feel really terrible about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job. I do feel bad about him, but now I'm pissed off about the gas. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the veil in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I'm still pissed off that no one looked. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Like, I didn't really? Wrong, I Hopefully the Council can see that. I showed up. And I'll killed stand some things. behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Uh -huh. Saren's a specter, one of the best. Oh boy. Legend. But if he's working with the Gith, yeah, it means he's gone rogue. Yep. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. What do you mean he hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. Mm. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Uh... Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? We gotta be honest with Captain Anderson. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Uh, yeah. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, ship. Yeah, what are we gonna say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. A bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. Um, Captain Anderson, are you sure we're going that far? He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Yep. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Um... Yeah, we prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon yeah, as we Yeah, that's the city. probably true. We should ambassador be Ambassador Udinez, kind of my least Head favorite character ever. Joker to bring us into dock. Okay, so I'm supposed to go to the bridge. First, I'm going to look around. We actually get to see though Normandy. So when I made this character, I had my other graphics options and her eyes were gray. Now they're purple. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. How are you, Caden? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Oh, I, I wasn't the only person there, man. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. He will be. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. <laughs> First mission ends with one Spectre killing another. Yeah, well. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. 
probably use it to lever more concessions out of the alliance. Yeah, seems like you know how this game works, Kaden. Got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. It made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Yes. I was a regular Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any um. in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you uh, tell me why? Yeah, we have to face the firing line, pretty much. The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Two Paragon points. Dr. Chakwes! You can go back in your office now, Dr. Chakwes. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Oh, I could ask her a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Tell me about yourself. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? Dr. Chakwes? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. <laughs> humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Do you regret it at Did all? I think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Aww. Well, we're happy to have you, Dr. Chakwes. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Um, what do you know about... Caden. Well He's a biotic, you, right? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What's an L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. This is something she Sometimes should be telling me. Complications. No doctor-patient privilege on the what Normandy. Kind of complications? Severe mental disability, ah! insanity, crippling physical pain. Ah! There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Ah. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. You should stop telling me everybody's life stories, Dr. Chakwes. Ashley, welcome aboard! I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. You will be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive... I might not be here. Uh, that's not true. We would have still found you in the same circumstances, and you, we still would have brought you aboard. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Are you okay, though? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Well, I... Do you help me? <laughs> like, you, done it you were there you too, know. don't forget. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Well, glad to have you here. You're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I specifically put too much makeup on my person, in case you're wondering. Anything interesting happening down here? These are where we sleep, by the way. Like, that's where you sleep in the Normandy. I don't want to talk to these guys. I want to look at my locker. Oh, let's take all of those things. Aw, yeah. Okay, so we're supposed to be going to the bridge to talk to Joker. I want to go everywhere else possible. Oh, hey, Captain Anderson. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell this is Captain Anderson's room. Talk. We went to Dr. Chakwas. We went there. No, 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 no. Okay. Going over the layout of the Normandy in my head. We want to go here now. Into the elevator. 
I did not change her face at all, by the way. That's the default face, just with more makeup and different hair. Here we are in the basement. Does it, does it count as a basement? I know. I know how to do this. See, look, there's Caden. Ashley, I'm gonna equip first because she takes an assault rifle and nobody else does. Yet. What kind of upgrades? Recoil damper. What is it up? Like if I give her that, what does it do? I don't know. Feel like that's appropriate for her. Um, she's wearing what? Phoenix One by Serta. Is it heavy armor? Medium armor. Well, this is better. Here you go, Ashley. Oh God, it's ugly. I'm so sorry, Ashley. That's real ugly. But that's what you get. Okay. Can I equip me from here? Yes. I use pistols. So does Caden. We're going to check me first. Oh, yeah. No. Pistol. This one is better than all of my pistol. Yes. Thank you. Now let's check Caden's locker. Pistols. Hmm. Way more damage. Is that worth the accuracy down though? Yes. Oh, I don't have any other upgrades I can give him. No better armor. Oh, he has a biotic amp. I can't swap that out yet. Omni tool though. Okay. Nothing else happening down here. Sometimes there are random things you can click on for XP. I will talk to him in just a second. This is my baby and I love it. Get ready for the Mako. What? There was something to click on there, wasn't there? Codex! Hello! Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? You got supplies? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily... Well, that's why you're the requisitions person, not the issues well, person. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, wait. Though I have to buy things, though? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without what? The goods, I'm out of what, what? What are licenses? What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find um... them. Show me what you got, dude. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. I won't be able to afford hardly anything right now, but. Uh, like, ooh. Oh, oh, how much are you? 200. I think I should get that. Thank you. Is this pistol better than my pistol? No. Well, you know what? Let's sell all these crappy pistols. Why can't I sell it? Oh, like this. And this crappy armor. Look at all the other stuff we have. Okay, look, we got a whole bunch of credits now. I don't remember how to throw grenades. This not as good. Oh no, it is good. This is what I have. This is what it is. It's better. But I don't have the credits for it right now. Okay, well, thank you. 
And we're here we down in engineering. Let's in examine the field integrity monitor. And let's talk to Engineer Adams. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Oh. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Oh, that's all you have to say? That's kind of disappointing. Anyway, this is engineering for the Normandy. That's our fancy prototype drive. If I decide to name these episodes, this one's going to be called A Tour of the Normandy. I like that bun. Wish I could put my hair up like that. It's long enough, it's just too heavy. Oh, there we go. We've been all through here, so let's go up. It doesn't matter which way we go, because I go the same place. I like they salute. This is the calm room. I know we've been here before, but not this way. I just like getting the XP for all these little things. Oh. Let's talk to Navigator Presley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. And yes, you were right. Turians are, were bad news. Nihilus wasn't specifically, but there was another one, and you were right. Only the commanding officer may specify destination for the Normandy. I just wanted to look at it. Okay. Let's head on down this way. All these people who are... I'm assuming all these people are, like, working on driving the Normandy, too. Like, I mean, Joker's the pilot, isn't he? Hi, Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Aw, yeah. There's the Citadel. The center of galactic civilization as we know it. It's freaking giant. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. We're working on it. Someone hanging out in our little walkway there. Oh no, it's, it was up, up higher. And this is the Citadel. This is an outrage. Oh. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. Oh, I demand it's Ambassador action. shouty you don't face. Get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Oh boy. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I'm sad I that Ashley's in yellow now. Reports. I assume they're accurate. They are. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. They were not happy mm. about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Yeah, well... Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your... What would you rather me have done, Ambassador Shouty Face? on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. 
That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Mm -hmm. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Don't we all, Ashley? Press M to access the map. Look at it. Apparently, I have the tooltips on. This is how you look around. No, 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 no. Thank you. I will, I promise. But we're going to look around first. Actually, first we're going to talk to Caden. Sure is peaceful here. Well, they built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Oh. Um. You guys don't care if I break into Udina's computer, huh? Oh, bots. I'm going to not get this. Ah, oh, and I don't have enough Omnigel to force my way through it. I mean, I could fix that and, um, you know what? Maybe we will fix that. Our unwanted equipment can be made into Omnigel. Like, Omnigel. Yes. We have lots of Avenger ones. Let's make them all. Yes. Oh. Pretty sure it was a shotgun that Ashley used, right? Or not a shotgun, a assault rifle. Yes. That's a what I thought. Um, she has no auto she has no points. I have 12 points to use. Uh, maybe we should be leveling Commander Shepard as we go, huh? All right. Um, then we want decryption, electronics, first aid. Engineer and charm. <laughs> this is a Bioware game. You got to do charm or intimidate. Do I have enough Omnigel to force my way into it now? Yes. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Oh, put the gun away. Guys, put your guns away. Let's go up first. Oh! I love these guys. She betrayed our confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Uh, hi guys. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you? Um, you are the Elcor. Tell me about yourself. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share... These are the ultra-high textures, by the way. I know it still looks like butt. Uh, tell me about your history. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly... Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Nice! I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. 
Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Aw, little families. And we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Um... Tell me about the way you Why talk. Do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. <laughs> Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. I'm asking. Remorseful response, Din. Why would I ask if I didn't care? And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Oh, thank you. Um, you're the ambassador what then. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the <laughs> problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate. I really like Ambassador Kalen. This human is not to blame. I think he's my favorite Elcor. Or your misconceived suspicions. Um, we asked all those things. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Let's talk Enjoy to your time on the Citadel. Din Korlak here. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place. I think your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. <laughs> At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I have a stuffed I can Volus. For you, Earth Came in the Mass Effect loot crate. Um, do you have a problem you with me? You have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. That's because we're awesome. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. <laughs> have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Um. So you're the ambassador what here. What do you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the council. Mm. Chastising rebuke, Din. The council favors your species <laughs> greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species. Um, live. what do you mean by that? Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the council? All species must prove themselves before they join the council. All but the Earth clans. It Does it look see. like we have a, a human on the council? No. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus ambassador, human. <laughs> he is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? I do think that the Volus kind of get a raw deal, consider they're like the bankers for the Citadel, but... Doesn't mean he has to be a jerk. What is this place? Oh, Jesus Christ. You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Wow, wow, wow. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you. I wouldn't ask about it if I didn't want to know. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Neither do we. You Tell can't hold that against culture. me. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. 
Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Um, I feel like we asked what this one already. Here? I look out for the best interests yeah. of the Volus people. We did. No easy task, oh, I can't skip through the dialogue? We are oh, but. By the council. Chastising review. There we go. Naive. I should go. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Goodbye, council. Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. This guy seemed to upset when we walk in. Are you okay? Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. Are you okay? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This well, I don't know any of the story. details. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. The Asari what? Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. In fact, I am. Everyone knows Shatira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Ah, uh, where is she? Where can I find the Sasari Consul? Not that I want to know for my own reasons. She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Alright. Anything else in this office? Can we talk to this little green dude? Green dude in a safety vest. Doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. That's Ambassador Udine's office. Or I guess the human or the Earth Embassy. That's not a door I can go through. But this is. And down we go. Alright. Welcome to the Citadel. In a moment, Avina, we're gonna go talk to the receptionist. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Uh, have we met? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Um, where, where are we? This, place? this is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avina. Avina is that? that Oh, Avina behind is us. the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Uh, she does not I want to talk to now. us. Have a pleasant day. We will go talk to Avina in a moment. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. I will, Avina, but we gotta look around up here first. I get very easily lost in the Citadel, so... Oh. This looks like a bar or lounge of some time. Oh no, not. They have computers. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Good for you. I'm gonna get some XP from these computers. Um. Human, delighted. Welcome. It is good to meet you. I like that the Elkoras are always so happy to see us. I don't want to go. Is this the door we came through? Yes. Executor Palin. Palin? Hi. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Ah, um, no. I came on my own. I need information. I'm wearing platform boots. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? It's close. Ah, uh, never mind. Forget it's it. close. Was there something you needed, Commander? Um, tell me about CSEC. Tell me about CSEC. By the way, we're in the CSEC, CSEC office. This is Executor Palin, the head of CSEC. Throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. So, lots of bickering. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. Or like the underhanded side of the council. Ah, I take it you're not into the Spectres. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. I understand Especially that. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. No, I'm not going to say that's a bit naive. 
Um... I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. I didn't get that feeling. No, I shouldn't have asked just that. don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. That's kind of a thing Girls in our history. Humanity, their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. This uh, sounds very petulant, so we're not going to say that. Let's ask about the investigation. Not that I think he'll tell us anything. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. That's fine. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. That's totally fine. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Actually, I'm going to wander around your office and see if there's stuff I can click on. Ah, uh, yeah. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow Biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Mm, that doesn't sound like terrorism. I will be employing the use of a whiteboard <laughs> when we play this. So I don't have to hop back and forth from system to system all the time. It shouldn't affect the gameplay. Actually, I should make the gameplay better. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Well, you know, you don't have to be hanging out in here if you're worried about humans. Oh, hey! I don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did too. Okay. Shut up, Frederick. Let's get in this. What do you want? Oh, um, Commander. Hi. Is there something I could do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. It actually right, is an inspection. Sir, what can I do for you? Did you, you go see the consort? What can you tell me about this? <laughs> Instantly consort? the eyebrow goes up. I uh well, she's an Asari who works here as that is she helps people with Things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Not that I don't already know where she can is, you but. Can tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. All right. Oh, there's a lady there, a bartender. Oh, a balcony. Another one of these little green guys. They have very cute eyeballs. I like their cute eyeballs. I mean, as a function of their whole face. I wouldn't like them on their own. Um, let's talk to this Asari lady. Don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay, never mind. Let's talk to the bartender. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Um, you know who I am. You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. Oh. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Ah, uh, please do. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies, not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shayeras. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you well, really, supplies, if I hadn't heard of her before, and now I have. One level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. I bet you we have. Oh, yeah. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. Hmm. She's a very powerful woman. The fact that so many people have mentioned her to us means we will probably end up going to have to talk to her at some point. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Okay. I should probably Goodbye. get going. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. I love how abrupt Shepard's dismissals are. Goodbye. All right. I think that was everything up here. 
So now we gotta head back down. Maybe? Yes. And Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh. oh, our computer beeped very loud. I think we will in fact talk to Avina. But next time. A shadow on Shepard's face is not attractive. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Wedge Fairy. This is Mass Effect, and we will see you next time.